I am going to be discussing the narcissist and karma. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. Share the video with anyone who you believe may help. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can be notified of my future videos. I am not an expert on karma so please share your knowledge and beliefs below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you think about this topic. Karma originated in Hinduism and Buddhism. It is the sum of a person's actions in this life and in previous states of existence. This will then decide their fate in future existences. Karma is based on your actions and thoughts in every single moment. It is the equivalent to Newton's law in science. Newton's law states that every action must have a reaction. When we think, speak or act, we initiate a force that will react to our own thoughts, words or actions. Karma applies to everyone. There are no exceptions. What you sow is what you reap with precise measure. Narcissists believe that they are somehow the exception to karma and assume any suffering they encounter to be an, an unfortunate coincidence. They are also in denial about most of the things they do. So when it does get them, they will appear shocked, asking themselves, what, I, what have I done to deserve this? But at the same time, if you dare to mention the word karma, you can almost feel the fear within them. And for a moment, it's like they are reflecting on all of their bad thoughts, actions and words. With no empathy, of course. Just fear and pity for themselves and the justice they will be forced to face. Now I am going to read a quote from HealPastLives.com. It discusses the four different flavors of karma and I believe it will be very helpful in explaining how karma will affect the narcissist. The four different flavors of karma. There are four different types of karma that you are always working on. Sanchita karma, the incubated result of all of your actions from all, all of your past lifetimes. This is your total cosmic debt. Every moment of every day, either you are adding to it or you are reducing this cosmic debt. Prabhda karma, the portion of your Sanchita karma being worked on in the present life. If you work down your agreed upon debt in this lifetime, then more past debt surface to be worked on. Agami Karma, the portion of actions in the present life that add to your Sanchita Karma. If you fail to work off your debt, then more debts are added to Sanchita Karma and are sent to future lives. Kriya Mana Karma, daily instant karma created in this life that is worked off immediately. These are debts that are created and worked off. Resistance is futile. As soul, you experience a constant cycle of births and deaths into a series of bodies until you have learned all of the spiritual lessons that the totality of all experiences have to teach you. Until you have learned, you will find that resistance to the rules of karma is futile. Okay, so let's talk about the Sanchi to karma. Every moment of every day, we are adding to it. Every thought, word or action is adding to our Sanchita Karma, which then either adds or reduces our cosmic debt. Depending on whether our th thoughts, words or actions are positive or negative, designed to, to harm or designed to heal, I can only imagine how great a narcissist cosmic debt must be. I mentioned before in a previous video that if we wrote our bad thoughts, words or actions down, we could probably fit them on a sheet of paper, while the narcissist would require a book the size of the Bible to fit all of theirs. So there really is no doubt about it. 
any narcissist will have great cosmic debt. They are very predatory, calculated and sadistic. Their purpose in life revolves around getting something out of someone, whether it's your time, energy, health or money. And they don't simply ask you if they can take what is rightfully yours. They plot about how they're going, going to deceive you or steal it from you. Everything has an agenda with them. So this is why I believe that any narcissist will have great cosmic debt. Kriyamana karma is commonly spoken of as it comes back to you in this life. While the others focus more on past debts and what could be sent to your future lives. So I'm going to focus more on Kriya Mana Karma now. It is about teaching rather than punishing. What better way to learn than to endure the same type of suffering that you have inflicted on someone else. And believe that these narcissists will soon have a taste of their own medicine. They have no problem dishing it out, but they cannot take it. But from my past experience, it always comes back to them. What you give out, you get back eventually. They may have cheated on you, they may have lied to you. Soon enough, someone will cheat on them and lie to them. They will learn that what they have done is wrong by enduring the same type of suffering that they have inflicted on you. But this doesn't mean that it will be exactly the same type of suffering. It could come back in a slightly different way. But it will come back. I have witnessed many situations already where I've seen it. I've seen it come back to them. You will not always see it yourself. But that doesn't mean that it isn't there. Narcissists are masters of manipulation. They control everything you see and everything you hear. The last thing they want is for you to see them get what they, they deserve. But whether you see it or not, they are going to be getting it. I can guarantee that. As I said before, karma is not about punishment. Karma is a good thing and can be a ro very rewarding system for some of us. It can help you grow into greater levels of love, satisfaction and fulfillment. And it can give you an awareness of how your actions affect other people. Karma should teach you to choose love at every moment to forgive everyone and everything and to live happy. Of course we know that narcissists do not learn. Even after they receive their karma, they will continue to choose hate at every moment. They will continue to be resentful and hold grudges. While they are in for a long and miserable roller coaster in this life and the next. And if you look at them, you can see it already. When have you ever seen the narcissist happy? When have you ever seen them satisfied or fulfilled with anything in their lives? They are always miserable. They are always hurt. How do we know they are hurt? By their actions. Remember, hurt people hurt people. So by that statement, you can assume that narcissists feel nothing but pain and misery their entire lives. They are getting their karma right now, as we speak. And they have plenty more to come. Endless pain and misery. And I hear some of you still talking about revenge. 
Okay, if you really want to get revenge on the narcissist, heal yourself. Become emotionally healthy and self-love abundant. You will then attract an emotionally healthy partner as once you heal yourself, it creates an attraction to people of like kind. And this is the ultimate revenge to the narcissist. They know that they are destined for endless pain and misery in this life and the next. So for you to rise up and recover from all of this and achieve great success in your relationship, career, or whatever it is you are interested in, that is the narcissist's worst nightmare. So heal your childhood traumas, practice self-love, continue being in touch with your empathy and consideration towards genuine people. Do not let the narcissist destroy your good qualities. Do not let them make you become like them. We can experience genuine happiness and love, empathy, consideration and a deep emotional connection. We respect each other. Narcissists, no, they do not respect us. That was a lie. How could they ever respect us if they do not respect themselves? If they respected themselves, they would not engage in these destructive activities. So continue to avoid these people. They will make you feel depressed, anxious and confused, just like them. But just know, they will get it in the end. And that is their karma.